what up welcome back to the channel i'm moda j and we are locked in we got us a little break in between the mid-season finale and september when we return so we're going to go over the descriptions of episode six and each day we'll break down the episode descriptions and the titles and try to figure out what the hell is going on we do know that drew and monet both work for don carter now and it's a 35 percent service fee on top of that so let's go ahead and jump into it but before we do if you like power content breakdowns theories and predictions like this recaps after show discussions then hit your subscribe button turn on your notification bell so you get something every time i upload make sure you hit that like button now this is where we're going to have a lot of weird and wild theories that are going to be thrown around so don't be confused with all of the bs but here's the official description of episode six episode six is called the devil's playground and it says Tariq and Braden must find a way to get back in Noma's good graces. Monet fights to get her family from under Carter's thumb. Diana is faced with stepping further into the game or risking her family's safety. Starting with Tariq and Braden finding their way back into Noma's good graces, that's because of the club being discovered and them moving product. Now also, you gotta remember, Braden gave up the information about Noma and the whole Zion thing started to unfold. Now, luckily for these two, they do have Davis McLean on their side and we know that he's pushed up on Noma. So that's one thing that they can use as leverage. Hey Davis, tell us what Noma wants us to do because if you want your cut, we're gonna have to be able to continue to move our product. So with them trying to find their way back into her good graces, it's about to be all over the place and we could potentially see Kane link up with them for the simple fact if he finds out that davis is messing with noma he's the odd man out because now drew and monet they're working for carter now could this appear to be a setup in zion's eye since he talked to Braden about noma and then all of a sudden noma and kane pop up this is after he already explained that once you and Tariq came around into my life things have been going downhill so that's something we're going to have to watch out especially since zion lost that fight it's like he lost his footing in the streets so Braden, he may have put them in a predicament that they're going to have to get up out of but again this is something that davis might be able to talk their ways out of because he helped zion out and now he's right next to noma so maybe there can be a little agreeance but we know that zion's still gonna be mad at Braden and Tariq who are trying to recover because of the whole Russian incident. We know Drew was one step away from getting out of the game. The only problem is Monet drew him back in and now they work for Don Carter. Now we see that he has an exit strategy. The only thing is it's starting to look like the doors are starting to close on Drew because if he's working for Don Carter, that means he's gonna be working overtime to try to meet that 35% that he's taxing. Now he wanted to get into the art, but we see in the title, Monet is trying to protect the family and fight from getting them up under Carter's thumb. Now, it doesn't look like Carter's gonna be slacking off. We know that he's talking to some random person, maybe the spirit of Denise at his house, but he's not about to let Drew just be a one and done. As far as Monet goes, she's gonna be fighting an uphill battle. Remember, she was up under Noma. Now she's up under Carter. All of the family has kind of turned on her except for Diana. And now they owe this 35%. They don't even have any other soldiers because the two people that they hired died the same episode. Monet just keeps making the biggest mistakes. That's why we got Monday mistakes. But going into episode six, it's gonna be tough for Monet to actually move around the city because she has eyes on her and she has limited mobility just for the simple fact that the Tejada family is all she has left. There's no Tejada organization. Now, don't forget, it says Diana is faced with stepping back into the game and risking the safety of her family. She is still up under Noma's control as far as where she works and who she has to report to. Now, she's on campus and she's pregnant. Now, outside of Tariq, Braden, and the Tejada family, no one knows she's pregnant. Now, Effie is on campus still. She still wants to know about Celine, but with Effie being on campus, Effie could feel a certain type of way because she still has to work and Diana, let's per se, falls back a little bit for the simple fact she's pregnant. Now, she might be trying to help Tariq because Tariq said he wasn't gonna step out of the game 
and he wanted to make sure that the family was straight. So we're just gonna have to see how this plays out. But Diana, I think her risk in the family is basically back talking Noma and telling Noma what she is and what she isn't gonna do. All right, one last time, the Devil's Playground, Tariq and Braden must find a way to get back in Noma's good graces. Monet fights for her family to get them up under Carter's thumb. Diana is faced with stepping further into the game or risking her family's safety. So it looks like Diana's getting forced to put in more work while Monet is trying to undo all the work that they have to do for Don Carter. Let me know what you think about this. I'm ODIJ. We got us a little bit. Like I said, these theories are going to be thrown out September 6th. We'll be back with episode six. Just let me know what you think about this description and how are you feeling about this mid-season break? I'm ODIJ. Thanks for watching. I'm out.